What's up everyone? In today's video I'm going to show you how to change the rear brake pads on one of these MK6 Jettas. So I'm changing out the rear pads on this. It should be fairly straightforward but I'll show you exactly how it's done and what tools we need. So first things first you're gonna have to remove the rear wheels. So let's turn this around, jack up the back. I'm gonna do one at a time so it's easier. So we'll go ahead and pop the wheel off. All right so you're gonna have to pop off your hubcap and then you're gonna see your five bolts. It's a 17, so let's take off these five bolts and get this wheel off. Okay, so make sure you have a safety stand underneath, and once you get this off, make sure that your parking brake isn't on, because you're going to make sure, or need to make sure that it's not engaged in order to do this. And find out what sizes you are. In this case, it's a 13, and you're also gonna have to hold the pin, which is a 15. And one last thing I would suggest before taking everything apart, check whatever pads that you ordered, and make sure, if you can, to see that they're roughly the same size and shape because the last thing you want to do is rip this whole thing apart and then find out you have to go back to the store. So uh, I'll link the ones that I use down here in the description below. And uh, once we get this off, I'll show you the special tool you're gonna need because you are gonna need something to drive the piston back in on these types of rear brakes. So I'll show you that once I get off, but let's pull it off first. All right, so both bolts are removed. So now we can wiggle our caliper off like so. I'll slide out of our way and your pads might fall off like mine did or you might just have to pull them out of the way. So as you can see I definitely got my money's worth out of these pads so I'm gonna go ahead and just put them on. It's up to you there's a lot of controversy whether you want to turn them or put new rotors but um, in my opinion I don't think there's a problem with replacing the pads if you catch them on time. So what you are gonna see is the piston. So see how the piston is out and you can't just squeeze it with a set of channel locks or something like that. See the groove in the front of the piston? You have to have the tool to be able to turn that clockwise as you push it back in. So let me get the tool and I will also link the tool down in the description but I'll show you how that works. So here's what a brake caliper toolkit looks like and it consists of one of these, so see how it says right hand? So what it's gonna do is it's gonna turn this in and you're gonna have to find the adapter that fits. So you'll see a series of different adapters. Just go ahead and grab one and you're gonna put it up to your piston, match it up. So you'll see that one's a little too small. And I'm gonna go through, I'll find out which size fits and then I'll show you how it's done. So here's the adapter that fits in our case, right there. So you can see it locks into place. Now let's put it on the tool. All right, there's the setup. So this is in here, the backing plate goes in there and it is just gonna, you're gonna turn it, it's gonna drive the piston in and turn it at the same time. All right, and once you see the piston fully seated, you can go ahead and take your tool out. So piston's all the way in, and now we will get ready for our brake pads and clean this up, and I'll show you. All right, so some guys will argue that you need to put slider pin grease on the contact points. I'll leave that up to you guys. Bunch of debate on that. In my opinion, I think it just collects dust and dirt right there. So I like to try to just get these clean. I'll clean them off with just a wire brush right here, just so there's no junk there and the pads can move freely. So, like I said, you guys decide what you want to do. That's about what I will do. And then the thing I will do though is apply this brake lubricant to my slider pen. So I'll pop these out of the dust boots like so, and I'll just put some new grease on them and then I'll put them back in. Well, there we go. I'll just put some new slider pen grease on there, put them back in place so that these don't seize up on you. And then we can go ahead and install our pads. So the pads are just gonna sit like so. There's one, and there's two. And then we just slip our caliper back over top. And reinstall our bolts into our slider pins. You might wanna install the top first and then the bottom since these pads do have springs on them so they might fight you a bit. So maybe install one first then I'll install the bottom one and tighten everything down. Okay, so everything is reinstalled. We can put our wheel back on. Double check that all your fasteners are tight that you removed. We will put the wheel back on, take our jack stand out and take our jack out. All right guys, so one thing I will mention is once you get everything on, double check, make sure everything is tight. And before you take the vehicle out of park, before you put it in gear or anything like that, make sure you pump your brakes. The other side is gonna be the same, so there's no point in showing you guys both sides. I think you guys get the hang of it. 
but make sure you guys work safe make sure you use safety stands make sure everything's tight all that stuff but i can't stress enough make sure you pump the brakes because you know how you push the piston in it has to come back out and make up that difference so if you try to just use the brakes immediately it's going to be trying to close that gap so make sure you pump the brakes to bring everything tight to get the piston to come out and to tighten everything up if you guys found this helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up check out the other videos on this channel and also subscribe we have a lot of automotive related content and a lot of other cool stuff that you guys can already check out on the channel see you guys in the next one